Media Lux community, uh, we are proud to, to introduce today uh, Rastislav Bajicka. So he is the CIO uh, from the core group, so he's responsible for the development of the core blockchain technologies. Also, the other ecosystems and, and use cases on the platform, and uh, also one of the co-founders from the from the from the from the core group. And yes, nice to have you here. Rassi. Nice to meet you. And nice to uh, interview. you, I think you heard a little bit. Uh, we have so the, the give me five challenge. We have five questions. Yes. yes, yes. So. Uh, first of all, before we start, so how was uh, you, yeah, last last week in Constanza? You weren't there, so you were at the, yeah, at, the yeah. at the conference, the Smart Tech conference right now in Bucharest. How was it for you? How, how yeah, I have a lot of this uh, technical uh, preparation for a release. Then I cannot attend a lot of these meetings, but like this is wonderful place really here. I like the community. I like the people who are speaking with us and give us a lot of information, a lot of feedback. What I really like, and that what we need to improve, <laughs> what we need to do, and yes. I'm really happy to achieve something for people, to achieve new level and get this feedback for sure. So you enjoyed? Yeah. So um, I spoke to some technicians, but we want to, to make it quite easy to understand also for our community, because the most are not in bit and bytes, yes. Yeah. But but uh, we will ask some more technical things. So, and I, I spoke uh, to a specialist, also a developer, yesterday, and he told me just oh, all is about the interfaces, API interfaces. So, and he was uh, asking us. Um, uh, how far are the interfaces and which, uh, with which common uh, programming languages can the system communicate with? So in our day, um, examples of how to, to, uh, to, to use the interface. Uh, if not, are they coming? Yeah, we were uh, thinking about this problem very crucial. Yeah? And we find out uh, several solutions for, uh, for the problem. First one is that we have several interfaces, not only one. The interfaces are connected to your current applications yes. with different languages. Some of your applications are in PHP, some of the applications are in the Golang, a different language. Then we develop this connector, we name it as a Oracles, and these Oracles can be connected to your current application. Then the integration is very easy. You just connect your API with these oracles, mm -hmm. and these oracles are connected to the blockchain. The translators. Okay. Yes, you yes. See it like translators. Is it something like a middleman no, or like something middleman. like that? Yes, yes, yes. Then yes. you are just connecting your current application mm -hmm. in this middleman, this yes. oracle, and then I transmitting understand. and receiving from the blockchain. Then we have plenty of these uh, oracles prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, we have in GoLang, we have in PHP, .NET, and several other JavaScript as well then uh, we can just give this for community as an open source uh, program and also we are preparing uh, running these oracles on the network, on the internet, you don't need to install them, just uh, connect your current application and you are connected then on the internet. It's a little bit like plug and play. Yeah, very easy, very, very easy, easy to, to do and you don't need to prepare, even though we are preparing for current shops and e-stores which yes. are quite popular, these kind of to connectors. Connect shops, yes. existing shops, also existing from shops. To, the, to the talk to key platform. Yes, also. right, yes. right, uh, because you uh, it will install just a plugin, mm -hmm. plugin from our website or your, yes. your store, and this plugin will do all the work with you. So it's is it very the easy? solution is a plugin like for the other stores yeah. also? Of so course, like uh, in some application, is it like a special made and you need to just get some programmers yes. involved. Yes. But we'll uh, make it as uh, easy as, as possible because we are also preparing the developer portal and in this developer portal you can achieve new information. Perfect you can information achieve for, for everything community. about, yeah, about that. Also a new website of Core Blockchain is coming that it will be soon, probably some, some ab about next week. About next week? Yes. <laughs> so there will be is the new ready? Core website next week. We yes. Will. Perfect. We will announce that as well in our network, then everybody will get this information. So they have the information first. Yes. Perfect. Stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> so um, I, the second question was, how many nodes do you need for certified transaction? And how long does a trans transaction take on average? 
so then also the okay. technician asked me yeah I will an interest yes <laughs> I will start with the second part of the question yes. because it's like uh, the exact information what I can give you mm -hmm. when we are streaming the transaction the transaction is in the blockchain immediately but the verification then takes a place and we are using seven verification at around seven seconds seven eight seconds something like that then if you fast. calculate is it really fast is it less than me absolutely then uh, this normal transaction will take something up to a minute mm -hmm. maximum and this is our timing for that then uh, if you want to do something fast or something like that you can use a less verification but depends on the amount you are transferring we still recommend that seven verification but it can be also less in several cases and then then you can use the core blockchain in several ways even e-commerce platform or some like others because you don't need to wait for verification like one verification per 10 minutes we have one verification per seven seconds and it's very fast and about the security is also very secure because we are using different cryptography than the old security is everything yeah. yes that's right you don't want to lose the money and also no. merchants don't want to lose the data yes everything you need to have in the place yes it's and a very important topic, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is about security and speed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the first part, the question about how many yes. nodes we need. We are motivating the people to create their own nodes. We will also deploy the, our application, our use cases, and each application will be light node. Then the light node will be more and more, and uh, we will just uh, expand uh, with our application as well. Then we are starting uh, something around about 100, will extend more and each application we will deploy will be also node then the processing will be faster this is very important to make it in more goes faster it will be yes yes is it also important put it in several geolocations that is uh, close to you yes. that's why we are thinking to put the use cases to the people mm -hmm. deploy on the mesh network nearby and in this mesh network in these communities you will have this opportunity to work with the nodes itself and yes. it will be very fast if the people will use the applications. Then we are starting from a small number, but it will extend more and more. We have right now our own server room, which we are building. We have several nodes there, and we are also putting some nodes on the cloud. Then if something fails, like in some location, we have always the backup, yeah. We have are they the big in your property from the core group? Yeah, we have one, let's say not the property, but in the server room, yeah? yeah. In the ser server facility, which we are hosting our hardware. There are several nodes, and we also have um, big clouds, and also we are trying to make it as much decentralized as possible. Because there is our ideology that you should be decentralized also Absolutely. in the nodes. Okay. Something will happen, even Google can go down, or several other providers, we just uh, can see it uh, from the past. But uh, right now, if you are more and more decentralized, you have more and more stability, and this is the idea. Yes, thank you very much. So this question was uh, for you. Uh, the answer was for you question, Johan, just to, to tell you. <laughs> he knows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but if you have more questions, continue. Yes, yeah, that's a person we have to talk with them. Yes, yes, he's, um, yes, yes. We have uh, some interesting, uh, interesting things to discuss together. Sure. Um, what can I generate? Do with the with the core blockchain technologies uh, d d d technology and uh, with, with, uh, which are the areas and in, in industries I can use it. Like let's say core blockchain is the base layer, mm -hmm. and we can put on the top of the blockchain many uh, yes. industries. We have on the new website several industries which I can name it. Uh, this is like quite a big spectrum of the industries because the core blockchain is the base layer and we have on the top of it the smart contract functionality YLM. We have also blockchain implemented in the sector of the private uh, companies, uh, governments and also institutions, institutions yes, uh, banking sector because we also implement uh, like uh, special addresses for yes. our blockchain which is supporting the basic IBAN but we name it as ICANN, it's very similar yes. and also we are just achieving the big distances and we don't even need internet connection because we are running on Luna Mesh Network. On the Luna Mesh Network. Yes, yes. and this gives us... makes a difference also. Yes. This gives us a vast spectrum of opportunities in uh, the industries 
and I can name uh, some of them. Is uh, banking, logistics, logistic, of course. Then also Supply government. Chains. Yes, smart cities, uh, military, of course. of course. Then also um, defense and military, let's say. Uh, then we have also some uh, financial uh, spectrum and several others. And then overall, also communication. Yes, yeah, communication, communication is the base. Communication for everybody, so yes. it's for private persons, it is for companies, it for institutions, for, for governments. It's made for everybody. Yeah, because if you just achieve the blockchain for everybody, blockchain for people, which is our ideology, you should have the vision. the vision, yeah. If you want to just give the people opportunity to communicate, which is like something like a base right for the people. Absolutely. Because it they is. need to communicate. And we don't even like uh, want the people to stop communicate. They need to communicate for a, a long distances because some some of the people have the family abroad. Some of the people want to send the messages and also communicate uh, in the communities. Then we are building for them these opportunities. There are too many parts in the world where the people can't communicate. Like yes, we do. absolutely. And um, that's that's a right, a base right for everybody. Absolutely. Yes. And also, is it not cheap? Because they are charging a lot of money. Maybe they are not it's experiencing really that in Europe. But if you look in uh, America or if you look in Far East, there is like absolutely different prices, and the people cannot even afford that. Yes, absolutely. that uh, we are trying to it's luxury. Yeah, we are trying to get the people last mile reach mm -hmm. that can even extend the service. <coughs> you have just communication layer that can yes. go so far. But after that, the signal is weak and you cannot communicate anymore. Then we want to extend it for all the communities, the people can communicate Coverage more. Coverage is 98 percent. Yes, that's right. So but incredible. because of the mesh, because of the, the mesh, extending the, the reach, yes. because uh, some of the communities need to also communicate and not only communicate but also use the services. They want probably uh, to produce something to get the banking services. Uh, too many people are unbanked in the world. And they can be, they can it's be. Reality. There, there is, so there it is the be chance to get everybody. it. Yes, yes, that's right. For, for many, it is not possible because they have not no internet, for example. That's yes. the first thing. The second thing, uh, there are services that are too too expensive. That's the second thing, and uh, so and it should be there for everybody. Yes, the that people we have all the same that. possibilities. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is equality for a people, and this equality should be for everybody. Yeah. And this also like quality of life. Yes, we yes. need to improve that. This is like a, our moral yes. uh, responsibility to give the people the possibility to communicate, to give the people possibility to That's earn the money, yes. and also have a security in their place. This is really important for a people. They will Absolutely. just improve their life, and uh, is it all around the world. We just talked uh, before with uh, with Michael about that, that to make, it's not so difficult to make every day something good for somebody else. Yes. So it's uh, it's not so difficult. And this this system uh, m makes exactly that. Yeah, right. It's a big and opportunity. We are trying to achieve, of course, it's a long process to uh, achieve really the ideal standard or achieve the better state, but we are working really hard and I want to thank you, our developers and everybody who support us because it's very great to give us the chance to be asked to improve the life. Absolutely, and that, that makes the, the, it's so spe special because of this vision, this yes. vision for a better world also, but I'm to so give happy. it to everybody and that this, yeah. is, this is just amazing and that makes the difference. I'm so happy that people are sharing this vision. Or people just yes. just imagine what it can be for the people, for the other people. We are not alone. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We are, we are strong together. We are strong. We yes. Are, we are nothing. But in the all this industry, if you see, the people have already some business. The people have already something where they are building, but they cannot connect with the world. Yeah. They are in certain space, Absolutely. and we want with the talk talky or with the. Luna Mesh give this opportunity to just produce, but uh, reach the world because also you should do it. Also, also with the thing, it's uh, thing as well. Yeah, yes. it's amazing. This is actually idea of all our project that should yes. work for all our people. They have core pass to get into the system, 
if they have the identity. Absolutely. With your identity, you can use all the services. Well, and you know exactly the other person on the other side. It's yes. not a fake. It can, yes. can't be no a fake. Scam. No you scam. See no how scam. many scams in the world? Who is and it the exactly? People are not all, always yes. so transparent. Yeah. And with this solution, they can provide you identity, no robocalls, not such things. If also, somebody is calling you, absolutely, then you will receive like the number, and you can see this is the guy or the girl, whatever, and you can see the identity, name, surname, everything about the guy because you shouldn't get any scam. Yes, there are a lot of scams yes, so from many so places. Too much. It's uh, overloaded, overloaded. Yeah. And the thing also for the streamers, the thing is, uh, we are totally amazed. So my partner Steven also, mm. because when you see this technology, that everything is on the browser. So yeah. to, to make the scenes and everything. So and you need right now, you, you need a PC at home just for the streaming. Mm. Uh, I don't know, five, six, seven thousand euros. So, so it's uh, it's, it's it, quite expensive. Yeah. Yes, it's very expensive. And right now you can do it on your browser. You can use yeah. it and uh, uh, you have all, all these all these features integrated. Yeah. That's 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 amazing. Just amazing. Nobody has it. People are requiring in these standards a little more professional work, like. And everybody is improving you know, the technology. It's different than four years ago. It's very different Absolutely. right now. Then all is progressing and we are trying to implement the newest standard. And this gives us opportunity to improve. State Even, of the art technology, yes. yes. Stay in the browser, improve more and more. And uh, if you follow this technology, that we should do, then you can bring for a people many more and many improvements for their lives and for the communication. And for example, e-gamers or other people who are streaming can also stream this content. And not only stream, but also get something because we built like a protection for the videos. And if you earn something and you are the owner of the for video. All the artists, uh, yes. musicians, it's... Uh, yes, this is a big, big thing. Because absolutely. then you are earning together with other people. If somebody present your work, you should get also some kind of tantiums for this, your absolutely, work. Absolutely, absolutely. And we are trying to solve this situation because it's not really working right now 100%. Is it not really always so transparent? And we want to bring uh, some kind of uh, rules in the situation. And if somebody just sharing your videos, if somebody making playlists of your videos and somebody is watching it, you should get something for that. Yes, because you're informed and you're in the process. Yes. And not outside the process. So because the, how it works right now, the people steal. They take whatever they yes, want, they right. make copies. And you do. It's, uh, you invented that, you created it. It's your creation, so and you should be a disciplined. You, 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 you should have your advantage out of it. So and in, in Because the, it's your yeah. work. Yes. In the technical pr perspective, you need to see it like that. The technology is great if you are using it properly because there is peer-to-peer -peer, uh, streaming transaction yeah. everywhere, but you need to use it within the rules, yeah? You and need it, those rules. Yes, Absolutely. you need it. And if you set up the rules properly, it can serve you really well. And we are trying to achieve that. We are set up in the systems, we are set up in the rules, and we are streaming this information on decentralized network to give us more reach, more stability, more serverless and functions, fairness. and fairness as well. That's this is fairness. important. Absolutely, fairness. Then newest technology and also fairness for the people. Honesty. <laughs> Honesty, yeah. Yes, that's, that's it. And security. Absolutely. Um, how quickly can a third, we spoke about that a little bit, but a third party provider use the services and how complex is it to, to implement the, the blockchain technology? In an existing system also. Yeah, I will explain something what we need to begin with. We have several uh, systems in our blockchain. We have testnet. Yes. That's the first platform when you can test your system. Everything is working right. If everything is within a blockchain, mm -hmm. you don't need to pay for that. But if you are connecting with the oracles, what we spoke before, yes. after the connecting, you need to test it something. Then you will test it on the testnet network. Yeah. Testnet. And then, you can go live with your services uh, regards to the yes. yeah uh, regards to the network because we have two networks testnet and live net then we have also like enterprise network which can be used for some different kind of proof 
uh, proof of work, or proof of authority, or whatever, what do you want to program that, then you have three types of network, testnet, live net, and the enterprise, which you can, oh, use, should be. Which you, which you can utilize. This is the first step you need to decide, like, you need first of all test it. Don't go live if you are, ready, you are not ready to go to live, yeah? Just the first test it. And then we have many of these kind of uh, uh, plugins and oracles that you can utilize for your system. Then you will find out uh, what your current system is uh, working on, or what kind of framework you are using, what kind is the best connection with this system, and you can then use these oracles to use it in your system or use some kind of current solution that are running in the network or mm -hmm. on the internet. Then it's quite easy to connect with the API and use the services. You need to think if the best for you using some kind of developers which will help you or you can use this plugin, just a plugin in your current system. Is, is it a well-known system or you can even just order services from us to build from you some specific, yeah? Yes. Which, which you can use. This is all about your analysis and then you can connect to the blockchain, you can connect to the network and deploy uh, your information. Which, are, for example, because I'm thinking about something because I sold also your PC system so, some time ago, some years ago. Yeah. And if you have a system that's like SDP or others, uh, info, or whatever. Yes. So, and I say, okay, we have a company says we have a running system, we have SAP on board, so, and, and to, to, to combine with the blockchain technology, where's the advantage? So we Is it very good that you mention SAP because we did some analysis about the SAP especially? And there is several access Big companies points. Yeah, have yeah. all yeah. SAP, right. or IBM, or Oracle, or whatever. And these big, big companies or governments even are asking us how to connect their system to the blockchain. And there is several ways yeah. to do it in this solution. You can start uh, a database like Subhana or something like that, but do you have this information? And you can connect database with the Oracle. This is one way. Yes. Then SEP has multiple kind of plugins which we can build for you. And this plugin can be used to communicate between the oracles and the current system. That if you are just doing some kind of activities, then information can be inserted to the blockchain or can be just getting from the blockchain directly to the sub application. This is like the middleman, so we mentioned before, some kind of plugins can be, which can be installed in the subsystem or other system which can be on the network. And I want to mention one more thing. There's also possibility of smart contracts. Then if you are deploying some specific application the smart contract can process some information for you. Act activity can happen also on the blockchain. Then you are just streaming some information, then some activity will happen on the blockchain. So in the, character. the speed of operation? Yeah. Yes, that's, that's, that's uh, because w they will ask, because the most of companies will ask, where is the advantage to use the blockchain technology? Yeah. Yes, I have a running, a good running system, SAP or whatever, ERP, uh, so Enterprise Resource Planning System, so, and where is the advantage when I use, when I combine it with the, with the blockchain technology? So well, there is plenty of advantages, like security, security transparency, traceability, yes. then improvement of your sales or communications, let's yes. say with the other people, because you can inter interconnect with other yes. applications, you can build decentralized application on top of it, this gives you like a bigger opportunity and you can monetize much better, because you are in the crypto world and you can also you just all put possibilities. It Yes, there is a lot of possibilities which you can implement. I mentioned right now six, yeah? But there are plenty of more, depends on the use case. Then minimum six you have. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. But the thing is also, also uh, when you take right now, when you see a supply chain, so yes. and then you have three companies, uh, all three companies have their service. If you make a certain automatization of the process, so yeah. it's much more secure, it's much more faster, because if one part of the chain mm -hmm. is breaking or uh, is attacked, so the yes. whole the whole supply chain is attacked. So when it's not working, so and that's uh, that. There, these are the things I see. Also, the advantage that that was perfect right now to explain how we combine it to make it better. So <laughs> and that was perfect. You know? Yeah. Yes. I want to mention about security. This is a big thing because, Absolutely. like, uh, we are trying our best uh, uh, to do for security in our blockchain should be secure. We are using ED448 
and in several cases post quantum cryptography and even in the current system you can really break it yeah there are several other protection mechanisms which we uh, can use and we are using but it's really important also speed because you have this information immediately and you can work really fast with that which is not possible in all the blockchains that's right time is money yes. our life is. is short and all that <laughs> yes too short it goes fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, yes, the, 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 the last question would be, so what role does mining play? Yeah, I will explain. Let's say you can see the mining as a calculation of the transaction, verifying the transaction and also get a reward for yourself. Then we are motivating the people to also mine for themselves, yes. mine for these devices. We are using only 6 watts for uh, IoT devices which Amazing. can mine. We, we, try, we are trying to be eco-friendly in this way because 6 watts is a really small amount and also you can achieve that with renewable energy, you can achieve that with a waste energy and you can use it basically with zero energy in this case, yeah, if you have the possibilities. Then we are not doing some pollution for a planet and we are trying our best to achieve a new cryptography for verifying the transaction and get reward for the people. These miners can be installed basically everywhere because it's small IoT devices and this you can install in your car with the Android Auto and you will not get only the miner but all the services, the Lumia Mesh as well. Then you can also use the Think platform, you can uh, use also the Core Passport yeah, and also some other applications as well and everything in your car. Imagine like that without the internet. Without internet, it's just incredible. Yeah. Even calling, yeah, calling without the. Uh, it's the new. Th yes. That's the new generation of communication. Yes, yes, yes. Communication 3.0, or whatever it will be. <laughs> yes, uh, and with, respect, with respect for mankind and for the nature, and that's the yeah. thing, so to make everything better. So that but were our questions, and uh, we're really proud because we heard uh, about your topics and your skills, and uh, so uh, that's. Uh, Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, that's uh, I could I can say I can say for the, develop, for the developers this is a bomb. So that's uh, yeah. that's. I will be happy to serve the people to improve the that uh, makes us world problem, yes. or also the communities that serve for the people and help them. Thank you so much for your interview. Thank interviews. you to support this vision. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rasi. Thank We're you. really ha happy to, to to have you here for our community and maybe with you next time not so for sure okay. any interview we'll see you soon okay thank you thank, thank you, you. goodbye